guys, I haven't done a video in a while, but I really felt the need to just record something. Um, and it's kind of shit quality because of my computer. I can't find my camera. But there is something that is really, like, it has triggered every sort of emotion that you guys can think of. Um, I've been talking to my friends about it, but nothing like, you know, letting it all out and just feeling so okay with it and making you feel better about it so I really want you guys to like feedback um you know there was a friend of mine who just bluntly completely a hundred percent just he's an opportunist like I can't even begin to describe how much I don't have anger I don't have hatred I I'm not even upset about it anymore. Like, I'm okay with talking about it. I just, I'm never going to understand why people do the things they do. And not once, not once did I disrespect this person. Not once did I call them names. Not once did I do anything that I would feel like it was okay for that individual to treat me the way that, you know, they treated me. So, point of the story and what I need advice is, you know, at the end of the day, like, you can't force people to like you and you can't force people to be your friend. But why would you want to fuck someone over who has been there for you, who has done nothing but be nice, like, you know, has helped you as much as that person could? I don't understand why people feel the need to just put someone back in a really fucked up situation in their life when they bluntly told you. You know, these are the things that really trigger things. Like, these are the things that has happened to me in the past. Um, and I really, you know, I'm afraid of that. And for someone to just bluntly do the opposite of what they did, it's just like, what, what, what was the whole motive? What was the whole point? And, you know, it's shitty that not everybody has the same heart as you do. But at the end of the day, I don't think you really need to fuck another person over for something that you're insecure about and if someone gave you something or not even gave you something if you forced something out of an individual made them feel like shit if you didn't get it like and you know completely just abusive like mentally and for them just to completely act like a little bitch block you and everything possible because you caught them you caught them in a lie and you bluntly gave them you straight up gave them the proof of them lying to you, yet still they're going to go ahead and turn on you and make you feel like you're the one that fucked up. Well, you know, moving forward, I have learned that you really just can't treat others how you want to be treated because I've done that millions of times and I become so cold, I become so heartless, I become so, I don't have feelings, like I, I become heartless, you know, and it's because of individuals that take advantage of me, and I am the nicest person, I am, I always like to see people around me happy, I always, you know, motivate them, and that's all I expect from people, all I want from people is to show me affection, to show, to show me that they appreciate me, to tell me, hey, like, I value you in my life, not to fucking make me feel like shit for, like, insecurities, like I said, that they have. And, you know, with the experience come 23 now, and as I keep getting older, it just really, it's just like, I don't even have the time or I don't even want to think about ever even opening up. It doesn't matter if I was talking to this person or if it was my friend or if it was my mom or if it was anybody. I'm talking about in general. When someone hurts you so much to the point where you really just have no trust in anything but yourself, and that's all you can move on with because at the end of the day you know for a fact you're not going to hurt yourself and people out there are because they just put up a front you know and it's fucked up because it's really fucked up like I wish I could really talk about the situation but I'm not trying to be petty like I'm not trying to stoop to that individual's level you know and one day one day I really have faith that what they did to me will come back to them because that's just how it works, you know, and it could be the other way around. I just don't feel like you need to hurt, lie, manipulate, abuse someone that's being there for you. It's just 
that's just how I feel and honestly moving forward all I can really do is I'm not gonna get half of the shit that you know that person has because they're pussies because they don't want they don't have the guts to say hey I fucked up hey here's your stuff back thank you so much for being there for me they don't have the balls they don't have the guts to say that and and I feel like the answers that I want and the answers that I do deserve, I'm never going to get. But that's okay. Because I have reassured myself. People have reassured me. I really did not do anything wrong. And it's hard to believe. Because I am, when you look for me, you find me and I'm the most, like, evilest person you can think of. But when you put yourself and you make yourself vulnerable for another person, it just hurts, you know, and like I said, moving forward, I lived, I learned. Now, all I can do is just smile because I'm going to continue to be a hardworking girl working three fucking full-time jobs. That's why I don't have time to go out and it's what's keeping me distracted from just breaking down and crying. Don't get me wrong. I cried for a couple of days because it fucking hurts. Like, it hurts. But now... I'm okay with it not hurting, you know, I have a bigger picture of myself, I don't need to lie to someone to get my way, I don't need to lie to get something that I know I can afford, like, you're working, why can't you get the stuff that you wanted, you know, I'm going to continue to focus on going to school, working my three jobs, and my family, and pretty much that's it, my niece that's coming pretty soon, like, she's going to be here in May. Other than that, like, I just hope if you ever watch this or if you're watching this, I'm just never going to understand why you felt the need to just do what you did to me. And I am sure 100%, I'm 100% sure that you just don't give a fuck. You're going about your life like it's no big deal. You're going on being okay with taking other people's hard work. You're okay with that. You're okay with being a piece of shit. And God, Lord forbid you ever have a daughter or, you know, I'm sure no one's going to do this to your mom. But God damn it, did you forget that you, you came from a woman and you're going to disrespect her like that? Like, you're going to disrespect someone like that. It's crazy to me. It's mind-blowing. I'm baffled. I am out of words. And, you know, one day, one day, Someone's going to do you as dirty as you did to me, if not worse. You're old as fuck, and you're going to continue to be fucking miserable and angry with yourself because instead of fucking waking up and making a change and being positive and changing the way you fucking are, you choose to hurt the wrong people. You choose to hurt people because they're happy. You choose to hurt people that are actually achieving their goals. You choose to hurt people that you want to be like. Instead of fucking hurting them, be them. Turn into them instead of being a fucking disgrace of a human being because that's exactly, is exactly what people are. Someone who lies and manipulates a fucking narcissist. That's what you are. You're a narcissist. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I think I'm just going to be done with the subject because I'm getting really fucking aggravated and excuse my language. But I feel so, so much better just, just like talking about it, just venting it out. And, you know, if you ever had anybody do you so fucking dirty and you're living and you're happy now, so like props to you, props to you because it does get better and little things like that don't even matter because there's other greater things going on around our lives and the world for us to dwell on miserable people who are so unhappy with themselves on that fucking note. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. I'm going to upload another video that's already been pre, pre-recorded. It's just about food. So if you're new to my channel, you know, subscribe. If you don't like it, then don't watch it. If you're going to leave negative comments, keep them to your fucking self because I'll block you so quick. Um, and yeah, pretty much subscribe, like, and give it a thumbs up. I'll be back as soon as I fucking find time. And do like a little update or something on what's going on with my life. But this was just something that I had to let out. Like I had to let it out and I feel 10 times better. Just because I went on my phone just to see if that piece of shit would I even reply to a fucking email. And yeah, no, nothing. It's like he went up someone's asshole and 
he just fucking died. I hope, I'm, like, not saying, like, I hope he dies, but I'm just saying it's, like, he died. Like, it's, like, okay, are you alive? Are you not alive? Like, can you see your phone? But that's cool. You can keep ignoring the problem. All good. Shit happens. You know? Other shit that I wish I could say, but that's petty. That's just petty, and I'm not going to be petty as him. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. But, y'all, yeah, it's a pretty long video. And, like I said, you don't have to watch it, but there I go again, uploading it. Boom, 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 boom. So, thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you soon.